Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Colony. Guys, we did it again. We got the legendary. We got 18 wins. You guys are gonna see here real quick. Let me put up the screenshot. All right, right here. You guys are gonna see. I did get the 18 wins. <laughs> We got the legendary rewards last weekend. Okay, I am recording this. This is Friday afternoon. Um, I have yet to open my rewards. Okay, so this video, guys, I'm just going to show you all these packs that I'm going to open up. Okay, I did finish the Black History Month fantasy pack. Okay, I will show you who I will, who I am going to go ahead and select. Um, to me, the Black History Month promo, it's a small W. It's a small W. I appreciate it. Okay, for them, you know, just just because it's a Black History Month, you know, promo that they put out there. It's a very small promo. There's nothing much to it. Just a couple, a few solo strings. Takes about an hour to do. It's reasonable. You get a 95 Nat. Okay, I found a card that I could use for my team. I know most of you guys probably have God Squads. You're probably like, I can't use any of these guys. But for me, I did find a card I could use for my for my squad. I am running a Giant Steam team for you guys are watching this this as my uh, first video I run Giants Steam team exclusively I love the New York Giants I am a New York Giants fan in real life um, that's what I run okay but anyway guys I'm gonna try to keep this video short all right I just want to go over the weekend league real quick and then I will show you um, what I'm gonna get from these packs okay there is a limited limited Edgar and James right the halfback for the all rookie promo all right, guys, this promo is trash. All right, I'm sorry. This promo is ass. It's butt. It's garbage. Um, this is not worth it. All right. The earn a Nat all rookie hero. You have to do full games, guys. We're talking anywhere from about 24 to 32 full games you guys have to do to get a 96 NAT. At this point of the year, guys, it is not worth it. Please save yourself the trouble. Do not do this. Do not do these solos right here. I'm sorry. Unless you have about four or five hours to waste. Okay, for 150k, 200k coin, uh, 200,000 coin card. If you have about four or five hours to waste, go ahead, man. But to me, four or five hours for that kind of card right now at this point in the season. Listen, if it was a 500,000 coin card, hell, even 400, 450, it might be reasonable. It might be reasonable right let's compare it solo battles you get about 120k a week if you do uh 13 games in solo battles right now or i, I guess what is it 11 games 12 games whatever however many solo battles you gotta do you'll get about 120k a week right for you know for about three hours worth of t about three hours worth of your time all right you get about 120k this you have to you have to spend at least four probably about five hours get all the stars for just a little bit more than that you know maybe 170k maybe 200k if you're lucky right to me it's not worth it it's not worth it guys now listen if you are strapped for coins you're not very good in weekend league maybe you're not a very good online player go ahead and do the solos i get it but for anybody else to me it's not worth it the time value is not there all right so save yourself the trouble i am not going to do this so this uh promo all right, I'm staying. I'm staying the hell away from it. It is not worth it. That's an L. All right, Black History Month, small W, small W. So let's just go ahead, open up the packs. We'll see what what we're gonna pull. I am not gonna take the coins. I I guys, if you're not me, take the coins. Okay. If you're not doing this for YouTube, or you're not trying to pull a limited or whatever, guys, please, please take the coins. All right. Let's just go ahead and open them. We'll keep talking. All right, see if we can pull anything. Um, all right, so yeah, I'll just let these open up and then we'll just talk about the weekend league, all right? So first of all, we are gonna be going to the PS5 next weekend, okay? I do have a PlayStation 5. I will be going next gen next weekend. Then, all right, so last weekend was my last, you know, going hard at it weekend. This weekend, I only need about 9 or 10 wins to get Legendary for the month. So, since that's the case, I'm not going hard. I'm kind of taking off this weekend, alright? I'm not trying to complete all 25 games. Alright, I'm taking off. I'm taking a little vacation this weekend. Next weekend, we'll go back hard at it. Alright, we haven't pulled anything yet. 
I don't care. Red zone packs, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna open it. I don't care. I don't, I don't need the coins. I'm just gonna open them. Uh, unless this is absolute trash. Like, if I get all golds, like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just gonna have to take the coins from now on, but... 80, 80, 83, 84. Alright, not horrible. Again, guys, if you're not doing this for a video, please, please take the coins, okay? I'm doing this right now at this point of the season because I am not hurting for coins. I have about 1.6 million coins, all right? So I'm just going to open these packs, see if I can pull a limited. All right, I probably should wait until tomorrow for Ultimate Legends, but who cares? 84, Tay Crowder, Hunter Henry. All right, not horrible, not horrible. Um... Okay, yeah. Guys, getting 18 wins. How did I get 18 wins to reach Legendary yet again? Okay. Now, Madden 19, Madden 20, I have hit Legendary uh, uh, quite a few times. It's very hard, guys, okay? We all know... Ooh, I got 90 right there. That's a W. Okay, Marshall Yan, that's a W. All right, we, we all know how hard it is, guys, to, to get... Hell, even to get 16 wins is kind of hard in this game, okay? With all the cheese, all the glitches that can happen to you, I'm sorry, there is something called DDA or RNG. I don't care what the hell you guys want to call it. It's in the game, okay? It is definitely in the game, okay? <laughs> Some games, you will not be able to catch the ball. You won't be able to intercept the ball. Your players will not be able to block shed, okay? Or they will get instant shedded, okay? Certain things are going to happen to your team in every different game, all right? So one game, your team could be playing lights out, right? You'll be playing lights out. Any ball that gets near any of your DBs, you get an interception, right? Then we all know, okay, the next game I play, all of a sudden, their QB, the guy's an absolute idiot. He doesn't know how to play, right? He's running around like an idiot. He throws the balls right to your DBs. And your DBs will either just bat down the ball. They won't react. The ball might go through their player model and into the hands of the defense. Right? I mean, just crazy things will happen that you go, okay, how did my guy not catch that ball? Why is it in this game I cannot intercept the ball? Well, guys, I'm sorry to tell you, every game, I believe at the start of each game, when they load in the game, okay, they set some kind of sliders at the start of each game, all right? And that slider, the slider might say, okay, this game, you're going to be able to pick the ball. Any ball that's thrown anywhere near your DBs, you will intercept it. If you, the first hit stick you lay on that guy, all right, you knock the hell out of their player on, on, the, on, the, kick, on the kickoff right at the start, you get a hit stick, boom, you get a fumble, right? We've all had that happen. We've all had that happen, okay? That's when you know your slider for hit sticks, your RNG is favorable in that game, okay? That means you're gonna get certain animations that are gonna activate in that game. Certain things are gonna happen to you in that game that's gonna help you win that game. Or is gonna go against you, right? So that's just the way it goes. You win about four or five games in a row, all of a sudden I think that, that just kicks in. I just, I, I just think it kicks in, I'm sorry. All right, I've lost to absolute bums in weekend league before because of stuff like that. Okay, I went 18 and seven this weekend league, guys. I regularly go 16 wins, 16 plus wins. All right, should I be losing to a guy that probably doesn't even get 13 wins in a weekend? He probably doesn't even get 13. Should I be losing that game? Hell no. You shouldn't be losing that game. Okay. But EA has certain sliders set in the game. And that's what happens in Weekend League, guys. It happens in Weekend League. I don't know how it happens really in Seasons. I don't know if that's really the case. I don't play Seasons that often. But I know in Weekend League, it's definitely on. Something is definitely on. All right, this is a touchdown pack, so I better get something good here. If I don't get anything good here, man. 85, 84, Julius Pepper. Eh, that's kind of an L. I'm going to take the L on the coins here. If I don't pull anything great, I don't pull anything great. I, I never open these packs, so I'm just celebrating the legendary status. <laughs> All right, you got to celebrate those legendary status, guys. It's so hard to get. So, I mean, hopefully I get something. To, can I get a full? Can I get a full uh, 50 here? Nope. Ooh! Mario Addison, okay. I'll take a 90 there. 
Still an L. I still lost coins, but I'll take it. You know, I mean, hey. It's for you guys, this video. Alright, it's my first video in a long time. I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to try to keep this video under 15 minutes. I'm just going to show you guys all the packs. And I want to get to showing you guys who I'm going to pick for my Black History Month uh, hero. Alright. Alright, nothing there. Oh, and we also, guys, look at that. We got Mutt Rewards. Legendary. I didn't even know that. We got Legendary Rewards today. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go ahead and open that up. That's free coins right there. All right. All rookie welcome pack. I didn't even open that yet. All right, guys. Like I said, do not bother with the all rookie uh, solos. It's garbage. It's trash. Um, that new Javon Curse is really good. He's not really any better than the Stray Hand is for me, though, so I'm not going after him. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and open up our Mutt Rewards. Wow. What do we get? Let's see what we got. All rookie fantasy pack. Two rounds. All right, can I get a W here? 83. Okay. It's all free coins, so I'm not even mad. 83 Jack Conklin. It's three rounds. Sorry, three rounds. It's a fantasy pack. Two picks here. I'll take the Jack Conklin, and I'll take, uh... And Dominican Suh! One pick here. Troy Pride Jr. Can I get a 96? 92. Alright, I'll take the 92. It's a free card. I'll take it. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I didn't even know that, guys. That's a nice little surprise right there. Nothing special, but I'll take it. It's free coins. Alright, here we go. Black History Month. Alright. This is the last thing I'm going to talk about here in this video. Um, I know, again, for, you, for most of you guys... Ooh... Pretty cool animation right there, alright. Now, again, it's great, you know, I appreciate it. It's Black History Month. These are some of the pioneers for black football. I get it. I think that's cool, alright. Um, Fritz Pollard, the halfback. Again, some of these cards, to me, aren't going to be usable. But I found one that's usable for me. So I'm not going to take Fritz Pollard. I like that animation, that's cool. I am not going to be taking the Doug Williams, okay? My QB is Daniel Jones. Daniel Dimes Jones. Again, I run the Giants theme team. Okay, Doug Williams. It's a good. It's a good quarterback. Can't even see his stats, but you know, again, these are 95s. They're not super special, but they're pretty good. Okay, I will be taking Ozzie Newsom right here. Okay, Ozzie Newsom, vertical threat. All right, I like the card art right there. That's very cool. Right, he's like the first uh, black uh, NFL GM in the league. You know, looks like you won a Super Bowl there, okay? Very cool. I love it. Again, I can't see his stats, but he is the one I will be picking right now. All right, I will be taking the Ozzie Newsom for my team, okay? And I'll show you guys why here in a second. Now, I did a couple changes today. You know, I took the free rookie premiere, Tristan Wirfs, put him in my lineup, okay? At right tackle. He's a really good card if you guys have him. I don't really think there's any other right tackle you need to have here in the spot, okay? But you guys see right here, tight end situation. Jeremy Shockey, Evan Ingram, okay? I'm going to put Ozzie Newsom right here to start. I had Taysom Hill, okay? I had Taysom Hill. I'm trying to sell him right now. I have removed him from the lineup. I'm going to sell his card for about 200,000 coins. And I'm going to take this free Ozzie Newsom right here, okay? Guys, you know what's weird? I didn't even do the set. So I get to keep these 90s for free? Big W. Okay, that's a... Wow, okay, got guys. Hang on a second. Wow. I got to keep the card for free. I did not know that. Hang on, guys. I gotta check this real quick. This is, this is interesting right here. What the hell? Black History Month. Where is it? That's... Yeah. Wow, I got to keep all the cards. I thought we had to put these into a set to get the to get the 95. Big yo guys, that's a big W. I don't know if there was some kind of issue earlier today. I know people finished it early and there was some kind of issue. Guys, I got to keep all three of the 90s as NAT. I could quick sell those for 3750 or better yet, better yet, some bonus content, guys, some bonus content. Oh, I can't put into the set. Damn. 
So you're not able to put it into the exchange set. You could just quick sell it for for training. But that's cool nonetheless. I mean, whatever. I mean, you guys could keep one of them if you want to use them for depth or whatever. That's that's really cool. I like that. I like that. All right. Anyway, guys, let's just look over the tight ends here real quick. Let's look at the stats, and then I'm gonna let you guys go. Uh, so our first TE one. All right, is gonna be Ozzy Newsome. Okay. Now I know what you guys are saying. He's not Darren Waller. All right. He's not Vernon Davis. Okay. He's not a burner. He's not Jermichael Finley or whatever. He doesn't have burner speed. I get it, guys. I get it. He is not the fastest uh, tight end in the game. Okay. I get it. You're absolutely right. But the reason I took out Taysom Hill and putting in Ozzie Newsome is, for one, I get to save about 200,000 coins. Okay. That I could use for some other position on my team in the future. Right. And the second reason is that the way I use my tight ends, they're usually running short to medium routes. OK, they're usually running short to medium routes. OK, and if you guys see his card, once I put the chems on, you guys are going to see it right here. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade it. I'm going to show you what I'm going to put on him. And you're going to see some of the stats are kind of stunning here. All right. Especially for a tight end. All right, I'm gonna put play fake times three. Okay, I want that route running. I'm gonna put. I'm thinking about putting brawler, but I might have to put shaker on him just for chem reasons. Um, here, let me just check real quick, guys. Just for chem reasons, I might have to put. Okay, yeah, brawler's maxed out. I have to put shaker on him for now. I'm going to put Shaker on him. He's going to lose a little bit of uh, strength or whatever. But I'm going to have to put Shaker on him. Times two. Alright, here you go. Alright, so there you go. This is the stats, guys. Alright? So for me, he has 91 speed. Again, he's not a burner. But for a tight end, it's usable. For me, for what I do, it's usable. Okay? Now guys, I run the single back ace double wing formation. I run some goal line, okay? I run three tight end sets, two tight end sets, okay? I'm a run first, make you have to stop my run, then I'm passing the ball on you. Once you start committing to stopping my run, right? Then I'm passing the ball on you short and medium range most of the time, right? So that's the way I'm running it. Ball control, uh, smash mouth football, right? He has 91 speed, 84 strength. Again, if I use Brawler, he would actually have like 80, 88 strength, okay? He has 80 run block, which is really good for a tight end. That's in the upper tier of tight end blocking, okay? 92 awareness is a little bit low. I wish it was a little bit higher, but that's okay. Um, his catching in traffic, his catch is excellent. All right, his short route running is excellent, 95. His medium route running is fantastic. It's perfect. Okay, it doesn't get any better than that. Right? So for crossers, he's going to run a really nice crisp uh, crisp route. Right? He's 6'2", 232 pounds. 89 carry is good. 88 cod is good for a tight end. 90 trucking is good. 90 juke. You know, so it's a really good card right there. 88 break tackle. I'll take it. So for me, he's going to be very usable. He's kenned up to a 97. I'm good with that. He's a free card. I earned his card in about an hour worth of my time. Very reasonable. It's a W in my opinion. For me, personally, it's actually a big W. I even kept all the uh, the 90 overall NATs. Okay, so for me, it's a big W. Hopefully, you guys go ahead and get that Black History Month promo done. To me, it's worth it. Okay, for you guys with God Squads, I understand you might not you know need any of these cards. But for me, it was perfect. It fit right in. I get to save 200,000 coins, and I get a really good tight end, okay? So you guys can see my team here. I have top-of-the-line tackles, some good tight ends, okay? Some good wide receivers, best fullback in my opinion, Danny Dimes, Jim Thorpe. Oh, I got to make a video on this guy. This guy is insane, all right? Some good wide receivers, Shepard, Odell, okay? Excellent defense. Uh, Logan Ryan, Sean Taylor, Landon Collins, Harry Carson, LT, Strahan, Glover. You guys can see it for yourself here, okay? I'll go over my team more. 
but for now this one's getting a little bit too long i'm gonna let you guys go i didn't pull anything great from those packs you guys saw i just opened like what 200,000 worth of packs didn't really open anything great but i mean we got most of our coins back from it i'm happy with it all right until next time peace out